side of your screen. They are the favorites, and the lineup would back that up. Lots of notables here for their 11. Definitely a lot of big names in the lineup. Looking forward to see how their front three moves and operates with each other and tries to score some goals. Anything can happen in the Lamar Hunt U.S. Open Cup. That is why this competition is cherished. The Red Wolves get us started, going from left to right in the first round Open Cup tie from Tennessee. The Rockets doing a great job just managing, keeping everything in front of them, and not letting anything in behind. Especially for amateur sides, the mental side of the game, managing the occasion can sometimes be more than half the battle on a night like this. I'm sure Jose Mendez, his staff, everybody involved with the club, one of the messages would probably be play it like it's any other game. Yeah, exactly. They have some defending to do here, though. Chattanooga on the attack. It was a decent ball across. Stefan Svetanovic was in the middle. Christopher Mora collects for Brockton. Nice little ball into the midfield for Fonseca to chase. He helps it along. It's going to be a volleyed attempt from quite some distance. Blocked. And Pedro Hernandez clears for the Red Wolves. Anybody he just found a teammate here. Svetanovic is in behind, and he can't quite beat the goalkeeper. Over this set piece. Three, make that four in the wall. And it is Hernandez. Not a bad effort. Christopher Mora makes a rather comfortable save. Chattanooga in the U.S. Open Cup have made it to the second round on three prior occasions, including each of the last two seasons. So they expect to progress. And from there, it could be opened up for them to go on a deeper run. Again, that 2022 first round finish for Brockton is only matched by the run they're currently on They're in the first round tonight. Let's see if they can make some Open Cup history for the men of Massachusetts. The underdogs have a corner. It's already getting physical inside the penalty area. Kyle Thompson is on it. Beg your pardon, Kyle Johnston is on it. Making sure everybody is following the rules. It was Milito Fernandez getting involved there with Lucas Catinho. Brockton's corner. Up for grabs inside the penalty area. It's an acrobatic overhead kick. No troubles for Tim Trilk. Trilk over the top. This is going to bounce in behind. Goalkeeper makes a challenge on it. Referee points to the penalty spot. It's going to be a penalty. Christopher Mora's challenge to the penalty spot here. Big ball over the top, puts a striker in one on one. I think the keeper's unlucky there to be called for that. The striker gets a shot off, and usually when we. Svetanovic won the penalty for Chattanooga. Omar Hernandez will take the penalty and convert the penalty. Sends the goalkeeper the wrong way. And USL League One's Chattanooga Red Wolves score first in this Lamar Hunt US Open Cup tie. The hosts lead by a goal to nil. Classy finish there. Slots it to the left side of the goal. Sends the keeper the Three in the wall for Brockton. We're trying to stay within touching distance. It is Omar Hernandez forcing a punch save from Mora. Wasn't quite in the corner, but the goalkeeper was certainly interested in that. Good chance there. Anytime you put it on target and make the keeper make a save, it's a solid effort. 
Oh, and then Chattanooga nearly got the ball on target again and went across the face of goal. Svetanovic, who's been in and amongst it quite a bit in this first half, saw it go just past him. Oh, that's a giveaway. Marsh, not the best touch, but keeps the play alive. And maybe could have continued there. Referee decides not to play advantage. Free kick for the Red Wolves here. We're starting to see Brockton FC get a little chippy. I think that's due to mentality and frustration from the penalty call. And so for the next few minutes, it'll be important to see how they react and then move on. And they were playing with such confidence before that goal went in. Chattanooga have been on top ever since and are looking for more. More Hernandez providing the service. It's a free chance at the back stick and the ball ends up going in, but the flag goes up. The goal will not count. From the corner, it's well placed. The header by Carvalho, it's deflected out. Chattanooga incensed here, it's another corner. Red Wolves coaching staff and players beside themselves here. It was tough to tell, although from the live look, it did look like it was last off of Brockton. The visitors get a second corner. And it's really well done, a chance to get a shot away, and Trump makes the save. But Coutinho can't pick out Marsh. It was on for the Red Wolves there. The attack fizzles out. And that is how the first half comes to a close. Brockton get the second half started in their blue and purple kits, going from left to right in the wings. Svetanovic makes way. And a game changer enters. Rapapa Mensa is on for the Red Wolves the lead, but they're certainly not out of the woods yet. Malongo, brilliant skill, gets past two challenges. Mayel Malongo into the middle and Mensa's first touch. We'll have plenty of teams cheer on in the second round. Meanwhile, Mensa gets in behind as he dragged back down. Whistle goes, I believe the penalty has been given here. Not sure the referee actually pointed to the penalty spot, but Brockton incensed for a second time and a yellow card comes out. Great pressure here. We see Mensa get in and just cause havoc for them and now another penalty. It's been really harsh on the Brockton, Brockton FC side, but here we go again. Well, he's a handful, Rapapa Mensa. And the yellow card comes out. It's going to be a second Chattanooga spot kick. And this time, Siobhan Marsh is going to step up to take it for Chattanooga. Now this could be another big turning point. 25 minutes left. Marsh to give Chattanooga a 2-0 lead, and he delivers. A marvelous Marsh spot kick gives Chattanooga a 2-0 advantage with 25 minutes to go, and the Red Wolves could very well be dusting off a spot in the second round of the Open Cup. Open Cup lives have just been given a big, big hit. 1-0 was hard enough, now they have to score twice. I give credit to Brockton, they continue to push. They're not gonna go down without a fight. The shot does get its way through there, but tame in the end for Trilk, who besides that shot from a corner at the end of the first half has not had to make too many difficult stops. Malongo does well on the other end. 
Chattanooga keeping the pressure on in search of a knockout blow. Well, we talked about Tim Trill earlier. It's his first season with Chattanooga. Although it's his second stint, I should say. It's his first season back with the Red Wolves. They're playing for them during the COVID seasons. Play with Indy 11 in the middle of all that as well. And he sees his team on the attack here. A Papa Mensa with a touch of class, but then he slashes the ball over the top. A million dollar move, but a 10 cent finish. And off the long throw in here, we see him get this touch and such a good piece of skill. Unlucky there just not to have a little bit of composure and just slot into the back of the net. That might have been the goal of the round if he had finished it off. The sweet touch. It really was. Brockton rocking a bit here at the end. Rapapa Mensa. And as we mentioned, Teixeira is on. Double swap. Another battle of semantics raging on here as that ball is lifted in. Mora was nudged off of it. That could have been a free kick. On we go. Another big score update. South Carolina United Heat have a 1-0 lead late on against Crown Legacy. Another next pro side in danger of going out early. Charlotte Independence having a late lead as well. On the League One side, formerly of the USL Championship. Brockton continuing to push. Can they get a goal back? The answer is yes! Tavares whips in a beauty of a ball. It's a wonderful looping header. And Brockton, with injury time to go, are back in it. It's 2-1. The moment of magic here. Such a delicious ball by 30. Puts the ball in a dangerous spot, and he leaps over him. Surely will be a chunk left on here. Although Lukic picks up the pieces here for Chattanooga. Could he re-seal the door? Not quite. Free kick. We could be in for a frantic finish here in Tennessee. Looks like there's gonna be a hefty chunk of stoppage time left. Six minutes, I believe, was the indication from the fourth official. Can Brockton save this here? Can they pull it out of the fire? Tavares. Plays the ball through, and Trilk saves Chattanooga. Oh my goodness me. Chattanooga trying to hold on here. Tennessee, Rockton have the man advantage. Is it going to be too little, too late for Brockton? They still have a couple minutes left. Just takes another moment. That ball is kept in play. Carvalho. Fernandez gave them hope. Alves. Kept alive by many Tavares. Tavares across! They've done it! Brockton! have pulled it out of the fire at the death. Leonardo Teixeira has equalized with just over a minute left. The amateurs from Massachusetts have stunned Chattanooga here. Two goals in the last five minutes and extra time. Brockton want the whistle, they want extra time. Now they get it. A remarkable, extraordinary 
end to regulation for the yellow card. It's all kicking off here in Tennessee. Sean St. Jacques, Sebastian Eldy here with you. For those just joining us, a remarkable revival from Brockton FC. Couldn't control it. Jamil Roberts, great entry. It's sent back in. It's dangerous, and it hits the bar. Still in play for Pedro Hernandez. It's spun out for a corner. It's all happening here. My goodness. Interesting sequence here. It's a great ball across the, across the face of the box. Well, this is the peculiar moment. Omar Hernandez, his ball played in. Mora misjudges it, and it hits off the top of the frame. I mean, you can't make it up. A tough one for the keeper to see, as, as we saw. From the corner. Free header! Mora saves! And the rebound is cleared after it was headed on target by Declan Waters. And now Chattanooga are stretched at the back. Carvalho, with numbers flooding back in support. Carvalho switches the point of attack, but it's a poor ball and the offside flag is up. And the referee strides over here, yellow card in hand. Descent sees Benny Tavares Miss kicked. Referee has the whistle in his mouth. Chattanooga coming the other way. Lukic and as Mora slides in, and chaos continues to reign. Brockton will kick us off to start the second period of extra time. Mensa. Beautiful skill. Chance for Chattanooga! And Mensa misses off the give and go with Lukic. Yet here we are, an extra time of what's turning into another Lamar Hunt US Open Cup Classic. It's gonna be nudged down, Lukic chases. Cleared away by Montiero, and now maybe a chance for Brockton at the other end. Carvalho, saved by Trelk. Rebound is spurned and over the top. Waters ends off two challenges. Chance maybe for the Red Wolves here, Lukic. Stays on his feet, keeps the ball in play. What a ride the challenge. It's a good ball in by Lukic! It's in! After miss after miss, a massive moment for Rapapa Mensa. He makes amends for Chattanooga. And the Red Wolves lead deep into the second period of extra time. Another ball sent ahead. It was hopeful. Falla heads it somewhat clear. Handball appeals. Sent up field. Mensa gets on the end of it. Goalkeeper comes out and is off his line. Chattanooga can wrap it up. It's Mensa! Brilliant finish. Rapapa Mensa sends the 10 men of Chattanooga onto the second round of the Open Cup for a third year running. And Brockton, with a late extra time backbreaker, are not gonna have enough in the end. Such a moment. In by Carvalho, dangerous ball in. And that's it. An Open Cup Classic in Tennessee.